Okay, our next example here with thin lenses, we're still with converging lenses. Notice how we're starting to move the object closer and closer and closer to the lens. The object now is a distance of 30 centimeters. The focal length of our lens is still 25 centimeters. Converging lens means that it's a positive focal length. Let's draw the ray diagram. The first ray is from the top of the object to the lens. And when we reach the lens, it bends or refracts and it continues on to the focal point on the other side. And there we go. That's ray number one. Ray number two is from the tip of the object to the focal point to the lens. And when it reaches the lens, it bends or refracts and then continues on parallel to the normal and goes out like that, ray number two. And they do meet on the other side of the lens, which means we have another real image. The image now looks uh, quite large relative to the object. It's still upside down, but it's real because the do rays do converge and it's on the other side of the lens. All right, so there's our image. Now let's use our equations to find out where exactly that image is located. So we use the equation S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. And remember, S is the object distance, S prime is the image distance, F is the focal length of the lens. So that would be 30 times 25 divided by 30 minus 25. That would be uh, 600, that would be 750, divided by a minus 5, and that would be minus 150. Hmm, is that about right? Six times, yes, I think it is. All right, so, and that's of course in centimeters. Now, what does that mean? Well, the image is quite far away from the lens at a distance of 150 centimeters. Right there, so this is 150 centimeters. It's negative. No, it's not negative. Aha, I found an error. 30 minus 25 is not negative 5, so this is a positive. It's a positive, which means it's a real image. It's behind the lens, and so that makes a lot of sense right here. It's quite far away from the, from the lens. So notice that the closer the object comes to the focal point, in front of the lens here, the farther away the image will form and the larger the image becomes. All right, let's find the magnification. M is equal to, and by the way, since that's positive, we can say that the I is real. The magnification is minus S prime over S, and the S prime, that would be the distance to the image, that would be positive 150, divided by the object distance, which is 30, so that would be minus 5. So you can see here the magnification is quite large. The image is five times the size of the object, and negative means that it's upside down or inverted, so we can write that the image is inverted. So we found everything we needed to find. We found the distance to the image, 150 centimeters, behind the lens, which makes it a real image, so we say I is real. The magnification, five times the original size, and the fact that it's negative means that the image is inverted. All right. So, so far we found a real image in each case. So when the object was far away from the, from the lens, the image was very close to the focal point right here, but it was upside down, it was real. As we moved the object closer, the image moved farther out. As the object gets very close to the focal point, you can see how the image continues to move farther and farther and farther out. What will not happen when the object goes to the focal point itself? Well, then the image will become infinitely far away, infinitely large, infinitely far away, and of course, you're not going to see really anything like that. What happens then when you continue with the object and now place it inside the focal point of the lens? That will be our next video. So stay tuned for that one.